पहले दिन हुई तो मैं घबराई गई थी मैंने सोचा मैं तो मर ही जाऊंगी बोलते हैं बूढ़े बड़े एक नाबर्त नहीं रखना क्यों साफ सुथरे शरीर नहीं है हमें ये तो पता नहीं था क्या होता है महीना तो जब पहली बार हुआ था तो ये घबराहट हुई थी पता नहीं क्या होगा 66% girls are unaware of menstruation before their first period. India accounts for 27% of the world's cervical cancer deaths. According to WHO data, poor menstrual hygiene is partly to blame. 23% girls drop out of school when they begin menstruating. Less than 15% of Indian women use sanitary napkins. 88% of menstruating women in India use homegrown alternatives like old fabric, rags, sand, ash. wood shavings newspapers dried leaves and plastic 63 million adolescent girls live in homes without toilet facilities shocking data ignorance taboos millions of girls begin periods in isolation no education from parents or teachers this issue only compounded by a limited access to toilets and clean water i think the fact that a girl will be raised with these attitudes about menstruation being shaming being a taboo topic that something that she has to hide you find that globally many girls are raised not knowing that it's connected at all to their reproductive health Isolation and shame profoundly affects many girls' psychological and social development, like it does in Sonam's case. जब डेट आती है तो ऐसा लगता है कि पता नहीं अब क्या होगा सबको पता लग जाएगी और फिर किसानी चीजें छोड़ने नहीं देंगे परिवार के संग नहीं रहने देंगे खाना भी नहीं बनाने देंगे. Because of limited facilities, many girls miss school during their menses, and most girls and women. in rural india use unsanitary material to manage menstruation because of certain taboos and restrictions uh, girls may not for example be able to change their menstrual absorbent as frequently as they want to so if you don't maintain hygiene that also impacts the you know your ability to be clean and infections that you may pick up as a result of not washing yourself or changing your absorbent given that this is only furthered by the cultural stigmas involved and directly impacts their health menstruation hygiene must be factored in the swachh bharat abhiyan